Hi everybody, it's Donna from Donna's DreamWorks.blogspot.com and today I thought I'd show you how to recycle a few of your business reply envelopes that we all get in the mail. Uh, last year I think it was, I was watching some tutorials over at Cards TV with Mary. Uh, she did quite a good series on making mini albums and one of the albums that she made used recycled business envelopes so I thought, well, I'm going to start saving mine. Well, I ended up with a whole closet full, basically. And uh, I also happened to have a whole drawer full of toilet paper rolls because she made albums out of those also. So I decided I'd better start getting busy and make a few minis with these envelopes. I um, have seen several ways of making the mini albums with the envelopes. I saw a different one the other day and I thought I'd share that with you. I thought it was kind of clever. Uh, it, the difference is that you're not making a hook together envelope mini album. You're actually making pages using the envelopes. And uh, that when they are finished, when they're completed, then you can use your method of choice for binding and bind the edge and use either a chipboard cover or not a chipboard cover, it's, it's your call, and decorate the inside pages as you choose. It's really kind of a clever idea in making a mini and I thought I'd share it with you. It takes two envelopes for each page. The first envelope, first of all, I glued them all shut. This one is not because I just took it out of the stash to show you. Um, I've glued them all shut and I happen to have one of those male gluey things but a cosmetic sponge dampened or paper towel will do just fine. Don't waste your ATG on these envelopes because they've already got glue on them. One of the envelopes has been cut down to five and a half inches. Okay. The other envelope I'm just going to fold in half. And I'll get a, a good crease on it because it just makes it easier to see. And what we're going to do with this envelope is simply wrap it around the bottom of the one that we cut down to five and a half inches. Okay? Now it's hanging over the edge here right now, and I want to make it even. I find the easiest way to do that is simply to open this up, line that right up with the crease and make a little pencil mark. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Line it right up with the crease. Make sure I get it right there. And make a little pencil mark. Okay. Now it's very simple. You take the cutter. You have mail. Oh, my, that's my butler telling me I have mail. I'll have to get it in a minute. Sorry. And you're just going to trim off. I mean, this is a butler on a computer screen, folks. It's not a butler in my home. <laughs> I have a program that's called Incredimail, and it has some really cute things, and one of them is a, a notifier that lets you know when you have mail. Alright, I've cut off both ends of this envelope. And now when I wrap it around this one, I'll make sure it's at the top, it comes out flush. Okay? Now, how you're going to attach these is this side of this envelope you're going to attach completely using your adhesive of choice. And just for this demonstration purpose, I'm going to use my ATG. I probably would use maybe some um, quick dry glue or sticky strip. The glue is pretty good on these. And I'm just going to stick that down so it's completely sealed to this envelope in the front, okay? Now on the back, you want to create a pocket. So you're going to use your ATG gun or whatever right along the bottom edge and the outside edge. Fold it over, and now you have a pocket. Okay. Now I think perhaps for the pocket side, where you're going to be putting things in and out, I'd probably use some um, red sticky strip on these two areas and make sure it stays down nice and firm. So that essentially is your page. All right, You have a pocket here, and now this side does not have a pocket because we glued it all together. And how you decorate this, or begin the decorating process, it has only just begun. 
is you would measure that envelope, cut a piece of paper that uh, covers the whole envelope, and it can be, uh, you can put an edge on it, and I think probably what I will do at the top, and I don't have it out here, let's see if I have it handy, yeah, is I will take my circle punch and come down about halfway and give a little punch out. It just makes it easier to uh, get your tag in and out. And you do the same on this side too. Okay. Now this side has a pocket where we've made the pocket. And so the decorating on this side is for this part of the pocket. And use whatever method you want. This is EK Success Scallop Punch. And then this piece, you really have to measure each envelope because they're all a little bit different. I think this one measured uh, three and seven eighths, so I cut a piece of paper three and seven eighths and about two and a half inches long. It just fits down inside the pocket for decoration. But what's really clever about this is you can see you have a good size area here for a journaling tag or mat or photo mat. You have a nice size pocket. This is just a piece of cardstock to show you. A nice size pocket here uh, so that you can put a, a tag in. You have a full size pocket at the top so you can put a tag in. And then where you folded these around, you now have two pockets on the side where you can put additional tags as well as the full size here for another photo mat. So you really have one two, three, four pockets in each page and it will give you a lot of opportunity to create a nice little mini album. That's all I'm going to do today. I just wanted to get started. I really don't even know what the theme of this mini album is going to be yet. Um, I just wanted to start by getting the pages put together. And once I've done that, then we'll start to think about what we're going to use for decorations. I will stop back and show you the next part of the process as soon as I have it completed. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to use up all of these envelopes. We must stay green, you know. Recycle, recycle, recycle. Thanks, and talk to you later. Bye-bye.